I'm Samuel. Uh, nice to talk to, to everyone and I'm really glad to participate in that event and I really appreciate uh, all the work that you do with uh, Ala Vitelli and I'm glad to meet over similar platforms in Europe. Uh, I'll talk to you about Madada, which is uh, now two years old uh, Ala Vitelli platform and I will um, start by telling you a bit about this platform. So we launched it in October 2019. We are um, we are Open Knowledge Foundation France, and it's a project that we have in mind for several years, and that we are glad to make it now real. Um, we have now more than one than a thousand requests, and it's increasing uh, a lot since we've launched uh, all the the pro features of Alavitelli, uh, and we have now. Uh, an impact and uh, we also have uh, an awareness of the platform which is really good and uh, and our figures keep on increasing and uh, so I will talk to you today about how we ma we have managed to launch this platform all the difficulties we have and to give you and to finish to give you some success stories that we've had over the two the two years uh, running this this website um so if I give you some context about open data in France, I will give you the metaphor of uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You probably all know the Leaning Tower of Pisa, of Pisa and maybe you've been there. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, building, a beautiful monument uh, that is known for, for its, uh, its leaning. But uh, we, always, we don't always know why it's leaning. So the reason it's leaning is that because it has unstable foundations. And it's a bit of the same with open data in France. If we consider open data as, uh, as a nice uh, monument and the foundation as freedom of information. So why is it a beautiful building open data in France? Uh, I mean, things are not always perfect, but uh, it's a situation in which open data is mandatory by the law since October 19, October 2018. Uh, it's, it's ongoing, this effort about open, opening data. Uh, yesterday, more than uh, 500 commitments were announced by all uh, government departments. I, I don't say they're always ambitious commitments. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but um, it's still uh, an ongoing effort and, and the government is, uh, is aware of the importance of open data and it's, uh, it's a political priority in the moment. Uh, the country, if we look at the rankings, it's uh, second country in the OECD uh, ranking. It's the third country in the EU Open Data Maturity Report. Again, uh, it's not always perfect, and, and I could talk during hours about all the issues that we face with open data, but I'm here more focused about the foundation of this tower, which is the which is freedom of information. So we have a law. That is, uh, that is quite old. It started in 1978. Uh, it's called the CADAS as uh, the Commission d'accès aux documents administratifs. It's a uh, quite easy procedure, procedures. It's, uh, it has a large definition of administra administrative document, which is what you can request. And it's now a constitutional right. So everyone can, uh, can use uh, FOIA quite easily in France. But we have several issues. First is that awareness of the law is still weak among citizens. Uh, it's not a, a law that is really known and a, and a right that people uh, know. I'm always uh, amazed by how many people don't know about this law. But also it's not known by many civil servants, which makes our work even more difficult. Uh, requests, when you send your requests, they're often bypassed, they're not even considered. Uh, on Madada, we have more than 50% uh, of our requests that still await response, and it's uh, it's something uh, it's a difficulty that we face uh, that we face all the time with our requests. Um, and the thing is that if we look in, in government administration, FOIA officers procedures are not in place in government administration, which is also linked to the fact that they often don't answer. And uh, too often they wait for uh, the mediator uh, interven intervention uh, from, from LACADA to, to, to make a, uh, a statement uh, and um, before releasing any document, especially on documents where we know it's, it's possible by the law. So we have very unstable foundation on which we build Madada and Madada is part of an ongoing movement to 
uh, to increase the awareness of the importance of, uh, of this law and uh, of freedom of information. So we started to, to make Madada more than three years ago uh, with a small team uh, with the help of Laurent, Pierre, Pascal, Anna, Eda, and several others, which I cannot mention, and other uh, organization that help us uh, build, uh, build Madada, such as My Society, Transparencia, Hello Cloud, uh, Ouvre Boite, and other organization. One thing we did is that we had to import a quite massive database on all the it's called the public service directory. It's like 50,000 contacts, which is a uh, difficulty. It was, was the only database that we have that was comprehensive about uh, the French go local and national uh, government and all their agencies. Uh, we also had to request LACADA, so the mediator, about their own email database of their contacts in the administration. Do you follow me? So they have contacts in every administration. It's mandatory by the law. It's called PRADA. Uh, it's not the people that are, uh, are well-dressed, it's only a person responsible of access to document administrative, which means uh, all the person that are your contact when you have a, a FOIA request. And we had to send a request, which they first refused and during uh, more than six months, and then they approved and they sent us this document that they re didn't want to, to read at first. And we also spend lots of time uh, explaining civil servants and citizens about our approach. So we have uh, now a, a website that works pretty well. And so I'd like to share you some uh, quickly some success stories. Uh, uh, there are plenty of articles mentioning Madada, so I will not uh, look at that, but more about civil society uh, organization using Madada. So one example is uh, what uh, Secours Catholique, uh, so it's an NGO uh, with Equitas uh, made with uh, Madada to look at the sanctions for welfare benefits. Uh, they, they talk to uh, department uh, department councils, uh, to, to local council and ask how many sanctions did they release for welfare benefits. And they found that more than 115,000 households each, each year are withdrawn from the welfare revenues each year. And they had a difficulty is that only a third of, uh, of all these, um, these uh, these departments uh, answered with uh, an acknowledgement of receipt and only 13 on 100 actually released the data. Um, another example is a virus, cons uh, COVID uh, virus uh, concentration in sewage water. Uh, we had a request from COVID Tracker, which is a, a, a national website to track uh, COVID. And uh, it took six months to, to get to obtain this data in spite of the of the urgency of get, getting access to the data, but now it's uh, integrated and used uh, a lot to track alterna alternatively uh, how uh, COVID is spreading in, in the country. Uh, there is also La Quadrature, which uh, is uh, struggling against uh, surveillance. Uh, that is using Madada to uh, track uh, many things, such as how smart city project uh, use uh, survey digital surveillance. So they look at uh, public procurement in, for example, here with uh, Paris 2024 Olympics. So all the innovative uh, solutions for safety that, that are, uh, that are uh, um, used for, for the Olympics. Uh, they also look at all the location of uh, surveillance cameras that are uh, approved with uh, prefectorial orders. And so we have, we've had uh, success and they are uh, actually uh, 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 using a lot of uh, Madada and uh, advocating for its use. And we also, we have done our own investigation here on the transparency of uh, public procurement and subsidies in France. It's, it's mandatory in many ways to, to open this data. And we, we found that though, if you look only at the green uh, departments, it's only the one that released the data that we, that we wanted and we found that among the 188 requests, we have only re received only 61 positive answer, less than 32%. Uh, percent. So to, to conclude on that, um, Madada is used a lot. It, it has now a, a good awareness in the public, so which is really good. It also, it's part of a campaign to improve the freedom of information law, which has, as I have shown you is quite unstable and uh, needs really in, in an emergency uh, some improvement. 
And, uh, but we've also had some success and, and we can show now that civil society is using a lot uh, for yeah, uh, to, to, to use uh, in their advocacy efforts. So thanks for listening and, I'm, and I'll be glad to, to change with you. Thank you so much, Samuel. That was really great. And uh, I think even though we all here want our FOI um, systems to be better, it's definitely important to, uh, to celebrate the wins. So thank you very much for that.